Welcome to Innovating Music, a podcast from the UCLA Herb Alpert School of Music and the UCLA Center for Music Innovation. I'm your host, Dr. Gigi Johnson. So we've now made it to the end of May. Goodness gracious, we're almost halfway through 2018. And we took a bit of a hiatus with the Innovating Music Podcast. And I'd like to thank everybody who's been listening so far. I tend to forget about it in my wanderings around UCLA and my going to music events and meeting with various music industry professionals for the Center for Music Innovation and for teaching and all of the other work we're doing at the lab and other things at UCLA. And then I go to conferences and run into people who say, Gigi, when is the next episode coming out? And I really loved the episode on blah, blah, blah. Or we run into companies who say, you know, we were on the podcast and we got two or three new clients from that conversation that we had. So I... I feel honored to be able to have shared all of this with you all over the past year and a half. And I feel excited about the new direction we are taking the podcast. At this center, the Center for Music Innovation, at the center, we are looking more and more about how technology is impacting the potential futures of music. We've spent a lot of time in the podcast for the past year and a half looking more at how we are innovating now and what innovation is. We're doing a little bit more work now on looking at how technology is impacting potential futures in music, what people believe those futures are, and two different directions of that. Uh, Actually, I should say that there's three different versions we're looking at. One is the systems changes that are happening in this rapid ramp up to a streaming global music market, what's happening to the big artists, what's happening to the small artists, what's happening in terms of the back end of the whole system, all the new companies that have been forming to take a look at anything from data to next generation marketing, etc. We're looking at all those things, looking sort of at the systems that need to be around and are forming and different perspectives that are forming in order to build the future generation of where music is going. We're also looking at it in two specific directions. One is looking at what's happening globally. We've had several speakers on the podcast so far looking at various global markets, what's happening in terms of genre trends globally. We are also looking at, and we've been having some conversations with folks about the music cities movements, and I'm saying this in plural, as there's several different threads of conversation and community building about what's happening in local music cities. We'll be covering that a lot more and talking about what's happening on local marketplaces. But in different markets, the combination of gentrification and new technologies is turning things in different directions. So we're hoping to cover that a little more clearly. Um, We also are looking at the same thing on a local basis. So we're looking at global and local. So we hope to have you on, uh, on board for the ride as we continue this adventure. We invite you to suggest guests on our podcast, events that we cover, groups we might bring together. We're looking forward to doing all of that with the podcast going forward. It'll still be innovating music, but looking specifically at the futures and what's happening globally and locally. And we look forward to you staying with us on this adventure. So thanks again for joining us. And stay tuned for upcoming episodes of Innovating Music. Well, that wraps up this podcast. Many thanks to the UCLA Herb Alpert School of Music and the UCLA Center for Music Innovation for being our hosts of this ongoing series. You can subscribe to us in all the usual places, or you can come find us at innovation.schoolofmusic.ucla.edu. Join us again to follow the other adventures that we will be tracking down in innovating music. Thanks again.